So before we buy the Yamaha P515, we've got five things that are really important for you to know first. Um, by the way, we've done loads of review videos on this, demonstrations and what have you, so you can see those on our YouTube channel, but these five things we wanted to point out first. The main one is do consider the type of stand that you put this keyboard on because it's quite a weighty keyboard and there are some naughty shops, shall we say, out there that will try and supply a single braced X stand. That's the one that's a bit like an ironing frame board. We've got one just there in front of me. And by the way, the stand that it's currently on here is a Yamaha L7 stand, which is solid as anything and uh, they're about £200 to buy, but wasn't necessarily the one I wanted to show you. The single brace stand, this is the one that you might see in some packages online, but it's totally inappropriate because it's just not sturdy enough to take the weight of the piano, which I shall demonstrate. If I lift this up and pull it round, so single brace stand for me, when you're playing that, you've just got far too much wobble. It's totally inappropriate for it. The least we would recommend is that one there in front of us, the double braced X stand, which phew, again, if I lift this up on here, again, it sits comfortably under its own weight. Now playing quite hard on that, I'm quite happy as a player. I'm not going to find that too wobbly. Double braced X stand is the way to go. And you can see those in our packages. Now, that is point number one. Um, the X stands, by the way, of course, fold up flat. So if you need to, you can put them in the back seat of a car. If you're doing a lot of traveling, gigging with these things, you can do that quite easily. Now, point number two, talking about cars, is this piano, B515, it's not gonna go across the back seat of a typical car. Um, as you can see, we've tried this and we fitted it also into loads of customers' cars and your instinct is to try and put it across the back seat of a car and it doesn't fit. You can't close the doors unless you've got an unusually large car. So what you have to do is put it in the boot of the car or the trunk um, for our American friends and usually we've had to push the passenger seat forward as well. So consider that as well. Um, another point is if you're coming to the store to pick up a P515 from us. Um, of course, we'll help you put it in your car, but if you want, if you push for space, we will unbox it because bear in mind the box for these pianos does add quite a bit of extra um, width and depth as well, quite a lot of volume. So if you want to come and pick one up from us, we will take it out of its box, keep the box ourselves, and you can just put the piano in, which is gonna save loads of space, but it's still not gonna go widthways across the back seat of a car. Um, point number three is concerning the pedals. Now you might have seen you can get a three pedal unit for P515, um, but it's important to know, come down here and have a look, that the, um, oh by the way, the pedal that it comes with in the box is like this one. It's a proper piano style pedal, which is better than the one that comes with um, its little brothers, the P. 125 and P45. But the three pedal unit, which is called the LP1, if you want to use that with P515, then you are going to be required to have Yamaha's wooden frame stand, which is called the L515. The top, off the top of my head, I think it's about 120 quid, something like that. Um, but the three pedal unit bolts to that stand, so it is required to have. Okay, so. Um, Point number four is this keyboard is flat underneath. So if you don't want to use a stand at all and you just want to put it on a tabletop or something like that, it can be done. It even has little rubber feet underneath to protect the surface that it goes on. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I mean by putting it on my unusually tidy desk over here. So we can lift it up, put it in your studio, on your tabletop, whatever you like, and it does fit quite comfortably. And again, those rubber feet, that, I tell you what, I'll lift it up. See the rubber feet there? They protect it, protect the surface and protect the bottom of the piano, but you can take those off if you want as well, which is quite useful. Um, just need to read my notes, hang on. 
So point number five is um, there's a really good external speaker that's designed to go with this piano and I've got it here. It's called the Yamaha uh, SW100. Um, it's very lightweight, it's only 8.5 kilograms and quite a neat looking thing using Yamaha's twisted cone technology. Yamaha, of course, you know, they're also a super duper pro audio uh, company as well. And why would you use that with the P515? Well, if you're playing a larger venue, particularly busy venues where there are lots of bodies to sort of absorb the sound, then this gives the bass a really big boost. We've done loads of tests and we're gonna do videos demonstrating this as well, but it's about 160 pounds in that ballpark at the minute, but that's worth considering as a little addition to P515 just to give that um, sound a big boost. You can pick that up. <laughs> yeah. Can you pick that up for the end? <laughs> okay. Maybe yeah. for the end as you walk. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just pretend I'm walking back up to sit at an empty seat <laughs> and then miss. So that was five things. Oh, I can't do it, Isaac. No. I just can't do it. <laughs> so that was five things we think were really important to know about um, P515 before you go ahead and buy it. Make sure you check out all of our other videos here on YouTube. We've got just about every angle covered, comparisons, reviews, demonstrations. Um, check out our massive selection of pre-owned stock as well. Uh, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Stop following me. <laughs> Perfect. That's a wrap.